Today's tutorial is all about how to install Google TV on your PC or laptop. So the minimum requirement is 16 GB USB or 32 GB USB. Let's get started. First, you need to download the ISO file which I have given the link in the description below so you can easily download the ISO file. And this particular file you need to burn it in the uh, USB using the Rufus. Rufus is basically an open source uh, uh, official website. So you can download the tool and open it. It doesn't require installation. Your USB drive should appear automatically in the device sections. So let me show you. This is the ISO file I have downloaded from the drive and extracted in my download folder. Either you kept it in the download folder or you keep it in the desktop itself. So once you extract it, you can see there are two files, one ISO file and one is the data file. Data file, it depends upon the uh, USB size. You need to, if size is 32, you need to use the data size 16. And if your USB is 16, you need to use it either eight data sets. So data set should be lesser. So th this is the Rufus website. I'll just uh, open it here. You need to see, uh, just download sections, go to this particular file exe file 4.9 you need to download this is the standard one and this is valid for 64 bits if you have 32 bits you need to use windows x86 so it will take some time and it will get downloaded once a download has been done you can run it immediately without doing any installations over here there is a trick like you need to make sure um, the iso images which you have downloaded from the uh, link below you just need to open it the ISO file. Click open it. It will automatically uh, will uh, add the ISO file here and the presence instance partition size. You should increase it to the maximum and the partition schema should be GPT and the target system should be BAS or UEFI depending upon the systems you have rest will remain same and the volume level you need to change it name it to boot file system should remain same fat 32 and you can start it click ok click ok because it will prompt you for to delete the data if you have it anything in your pen drive if it's a new one it will automatically clean and get formatted immediately it will take couple of seconds to burn this iso file in the usb So it will take some time to finish this uh, process. Click close. It has already burnt the file. You can check it down here. If you noticed here, the file size is showing lesser the compared to the USB which I have used is 16 GB. Right. So let's go to the system partitions. Open it. Over here you can see around 27 GB is held as healthy primary partitions and this is the uh, boot the name which we have given in the volume is 2.81 GB FAT32 so we need to just unallocate this 27 GB in order to map the data set <coughs> click next give it the maximum value click assign drive letter next make it F32 and default you don't need to change anything just make the new volume level name as google tv click next click finish and it will automatically assign the google tv here this particular partition we will use to add the data sets and the file system dot sfs we need to Cut it and put it in the Google TV folder. Paste it. Once this is done, we need to copy. If you remember, like we have extracted two files one ISO file and one dataset file. Right? So the dataset file we need to put it down here depending upon the space available. 
in your pen drive so my pen drive is having 16 gb so half of the size you need to use you can't use full size else the data sets won't get copied you go back you go to the download folder the file which we have expected click it click it this is the data set. data set i will copy it here there are various data set depending upon your usage maybe if you have 64 gb of usb you will use the data set half of the uh, number you have to take the data set 64 gb you need to copy 32 gb uh, data sets if you having 32 gb just copy the 16 gb data sets mine is 16 gb I'll I'll just copy the 4GB data sets here because the space here is very limited in my USB sticks. If you have good USB sticks of like let's say like type C then you will get more faster uh, the copy of the data sets. So I would suggest like you try to use the type C that will you know help you to boot uh, quicker. It won't take that much of time. because the file size is bigger so it will take some time because you are just copying the data set of 4 GB you can understand how time consuming it will be so once done you need to restart your PC or laptop and you need to uh, once it get showing the screen of restarting you need to press F12 or F2 or escape your Dell key depending upon your system Mine is I've pressed F12 and I've got the into the bio settings. Go to more settings, click it. You need to go to the boot menu. Click the boot. And over here you need to scroll down. There is a portion for secure boot, so you need to disable that. It, uh, it you will normally get it under the boot menu from the boot manager. Mine is held up here in the security. I'll just scroll down and I'll show it to you. This is the secure boot. You just need to disable it, else it won't allow you to run the uh, USB stick. So click save, or either you press F10, right? Press F10, save and exist. And once it done, you give a yes confirmation and exit now. Your system will reboot. And here you can see the screen of Google TV, right? You don't need to do anything. It will automatically pull up the Google TV screen. Logo will appear immediately once it load all the files. Be patient. It will take few minutes. You can see we successfully we have uh, used USB stick to boot the Google TV in your laptop or PC. It will give you all the options as you see in your smart TV. You can skip it, connect it with your Wi-Fi network enter the passwords and it will get connected automatically if you have ethernet just plug in the ethernet wire and it will get connected automatically
it will give you the options that the internet has been connected successfully you can see here I'm just connecting the Wi-Fi instead of the internet connected successfully to internet so once the internet has been connected you need to log in with your ID and passwords because Google Play stores if you need to run it you need to provide your user ID and password so let's sign in click sign in here your mouse will work and the keyboard will also be functional so either you can use your mouse or you can just press the enter key here I'll just type the mail ID which I want to use it in order to access the Google Play Store Click next, it'll ask you for the password. Click allow, accept, click yes, yes, continue, Google assistance, continue, turn on, turn on and you select the Android TV, enter just click next next and here you go you have successfully installed the google tv using a usb stick so this particular usb stick you can just plug in with any pc or laptop and you can access it without any issue and you can watch uh, the youtube channels even install the apps whatever the apps is available in google play store you can use it so i'll test it here i'll show it to you how you can install any apps uh, and the apps which we going to you uh, install it it will get stored in the data set remember the partition which we have done it for 27 gb it will get installed in there so the bigger size of your partition the more apps you can install because basically the apps they do have particular volume of size in youtube it will take around maybe 128 mb size so this way the more you install the apps the more uh, the uh, data set is required so you can play and without any error let's play one video here i'll just uh, for testing purpose i'll show it to you see it's uh, working perfectly pretty good without any error See the apps I've installed here is appearing here. You can scroll all the apps, whatever the apps is available by Google itself. You can browse it, you can install it and but make sure you have enough space else this will get crash. So let's uh, you can play games also. I'll install it this uh, for testing purpose. I'll just show it to you. This uh, Beach Boy Race games. See click yes see this games is pretty working good there are a lot of uh, applications are there and uh, the google tv which is free you can use it so finally you have uh, successfully make your pc or laptop a smart tv smart tv which is portable on the go you can watch it anywhere anytime you don't need and that's it you have successfully created a bootable google tv usb and set it up on your pc or laptop if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos if you have any questions leave a comment below and i'll be happy to help Thanks for watching and enjoy your new Google TV experience on PC. I'll see you in next video. Thank you.